circular polarization. Occurs, as we saw, when delta phi, which we'll define as phi x minus phi y, is actually plus or minus pi over 2. So now we can look at the difference, because there actually are two different kinds of circular polarization. One can go this way, and one can go that way. And they have different names. This is right circular light, circularly polarized. or the much simpler RCP. And this one, going counterclockwise, is left circularly polarized LCP. And whether it's RCP or LCP depends on your plus or minus on that phase. So let's see if we can manage to get that right with our Jones vectors. <clears throat> okay, so let's first start here and write a nice Jones vector, e naught e to the j phi x over e naught e to the j phi y. And now we're going to have this delta phase of pi over 2, so we're going to make this one 0. And we're going to first do the case where this one is positive pi over 2. So we're actually doing minus pi over 2 as the phase difference first. This is delta phi equals minus pi over 2. And let's see what we get. And let's just make E naught equal to 1. That doesn't necessarily normalize it yet, but it'll at least get rid of the E naught. So we can divide out the E naught. And then this, well, it's not going to be equal to this. Now that we've got rid of the E naught, we can rewrite it as this is gone. This is just 1. E to the 0 is always 1. Right? Anything to the 0 is 1, even if there's a j there. It's 0j. And then this is E to the j pi over 2. Well, we go back to our Euler formula, and that's equal to cosine of pi over 2 plus j sine pi over 2. That's the Jones vector. Um, well, let's see, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, sine of pi over 2 is 1, so it's equal to 1 over j. Like that. All right. And then we could normalize it. And we think, well, what's the amplitude of this thing? It's a square root of 1 times 1 star, which is 1 squared, plus j times complex conjugate. You just make the, the square root of negative 1 negative, so times minus j. And that's equal to the square root of 1 plus j times minus j is minus 1, and the minus makes it another 1, square root of 2. So to normalize it, we have to say 1 over square root of 2 um, times 1 over j. So it's 1 over the square root of 2, 1 over j, like that. That is the proper Jones vector for circularly polarized light when phi x minus phi y, phi y equals minus pi over 2. Now let's do plus pi over 2, and uh, we can jump in. Yeah, we'll do it from here. I'll just do it a little smaller, e to the j 0 e naught e to the minus j pi over 2, because if delta phi is pi over 2 and this one is 0, then phi y must be negative. And so e to the minus j pi over 2. Same thing, make e naught 1, then this is going to become e to the j 0 is 1, and this is going to become the cosine of minus pi over 2 is still 0, but the sine of minus pi over 2 is minus 1. And minus 1, j is minus j. Okay. So we have 1 over minus j. The normalization uh, comes out the same. Square root of 1 squared is 1 plus minus j times minus j, make it positive, is plus j. j times minus j is minus 1, and minus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 
1 square root of 2. So this one is also 1 over the square root of 2, but it's 1 minus j if you normalize it like that. So these are the two states of light. One is RCP and one is LCP. Let's see if we can figure out which is which just by thinking about it. Let's see. So we have them like this. And we have a little room like that. And here we have x. And here we have y. Let's do the top one. We said that uh, in this case, the phase on the y was pi over 2. So let's think the real part is, uh, is a cosine. So let's imagine that we're doing x with a cosine. So it's vectors out here. Right, like that. And if we're describing y with a phase of uh, pi over 2, but also with a cosine, then the cosine is peaked. And this one has a plus pi over 2, which means it lags by pi over 2. So if we plot a cosine, it's like that. It lags. It must be at 0 going up. So if y is at 0 going up, then as time evolves, um, this is going to come down. This is going to come up. That means the vector is going to go this way. Right? So a little bit later, it's going to look like that, and then like that, and then like that. So this must be LCP. And therefore, this must be RCP. Did I get that right? Yes. What do you know? It even works when you think your way through it. So yes, 1 over i, or 1 over j, we're using j, is LCP. 1 over minus j is RCP. This one spins around this way. This one spins around that way. That's how you describe them with normalized Jones vectors.